Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Alana Brophy, weather rate certified nine years in a row. Some clear skies down there in Washington County, Washington City camera showing off in the Green Springs area. Really pretty. We have some mixing down there, which has been helpful for air quality in the southern portion of the state, but it's been a different story in the north. As we know, we're dealing with those air quality impacts and we'll continue to do so until we can move that bad air along. BYU camera not wanting to pop up at this hour, but we know they're dealing with some haze. Yeah, that smog out there wants to hold steady. Temperatures right now in the 30s and 40s. There's that camera. A little sluggish today. It's the middle of the week. We understand. 39 in Salt Lake, 40 in Ogden, upper 50s in St. George, those upper 30s in Cache Valley. Now, there are valleys that are really socked in, and of course, those temperatures tell the story and really show it. As we look towards our mountain valleys, it's 47 degrees in Park City, 50 in Heber, and Salt Lake sitting at 39. So we know that this inversion is strong, but as this dry cold front approaches, it will bring in some mixing and hopefully take the edge off 43 in Sandy right now. We do have portions of Utah County that have mixed out. There's the front. Let it come on through. It's going to increase cloud cover. We'll take any movement in the atmosphere. And we also keep our eye as that front kind of comes on through. It's dry, so we're not going to get any precip with it, but hopefully enough mixing as we head into Thursday where we're going to increase some of that cloud cover. As we look at it, we watch our our weather. We watch the front come on through tonight. Valley haze will stick around and will linger into Thursday, but we're going to start to move it. Here's a system to the south of Utah. That low pressure system is going to exit the region, but as it does, could actually bring some wet weather to the Four Corners area, and it's going to increase clouds in southern Utah into Friday morning. Speaking of Friday, there's our next system. We're looking at the chance of some mountain snow showers and then another storm that really takes aim even at the valleys as we get into Saturday, and you notice that wet weather off the coast there near Oregon as well as California. Air quality into tomorrow moderate in portions of the state still unhealthy and that's as the front passes we will start to take the edge off but we know this is not a quick fix and we're going to need some strong winds to come in here we just don't have those yet future cast shows us that front as it moves on through there's that wet weather i'm talking about in the four corners area rain and snow showers by thursday afternoon into friday as a result of that low tracking over to the east and then we get into friday with the chance of some yeah there we go snow by saturday morning for the valleys or mountains could see some snow showers on Friday, but as that system tracks closer to Utah, that's when we could see the snow levels falling down to the valley level, which would be nice. We need that moisture, right? And of course, an active pattern gets welcomed into the state with another system moving in for Monday, bringing snow. Here's a look at that regional where we get those low 40s, upper 30s into tomorrow along the Wasatch Front. We check the western side of the state, high of 40 in West Valley, 44 in Castledale, eastern Utah. We'll stay in the upper 30s in the Uinta Basin with low 40s in the Four Corners area. And again, wet weather in southeastern Utah, 58 for that high expected in St. George. Speaking of Washington County, here's the next several days where we increase cloud cover as that system exits. A little bit of a breeze Friday into Saturday. The Wasatch Front shows you those numbers for Hanukkah. A high of 41 kicks off tomorrow. Chance of snow showers Friday. Better chance with valley snow Saturday. Again, Monday and then again Tuesday into Wednesday. Hello, did somebody call for snow? We got it coming. All right, remember you can take Utah's most accurate forecast with you. Just download the ABC4 weather app on your smart device. Rick, over to you. Thanks, Alana. Coming up, the U.S. government is running out of money once again. How this could play into the fight over COVID relief.